Hi, it's John. This has come today. Been waiting for this for a while. As you know, I have got many Commodore 64s and many Vic 20s, all requiring a power supply and nowadays the power supplies are getting uh, trickier and trickier to find and also you can buy these uh, over voltage protectors and I mean the, the over voltage protectors are great but the problem is your power supply can still fail so what I've done is there's a guy in Poland making making you see making brand new power supplies for the Commodore systems using the tra latest transformer information and oh just a warning letter that comes with it and it's a Commodore 64 Vic 20 power supply using the latest transformer technology to produce the 9 volts and the 5 volts for the Commodore 64. It's also got the over, protect over voltage protection in it and a switch. So you can turn it off and on without having to unplug it from the 64 with it powered on and everything. And this costs the same amount of money as it cost to buy one of those over voltage protector systems. So what I'm going to do now is going to set up all my Commodores one at a time. So I'll start off with the trusted 64, my test, test, test uh, 64, and we're going to plug this into it and see if it works. And if it works, I'm going to plug it, going to get me G out, the Aldi out, the Vic out, the Vic 20 out to see if it powers all of them. And if it powers all of them, this is the way to go. And now and what I will do is I'll put a link in to the uh, the person that uh, does it. Well, you can see address there. Don't know if you can see the address there. There you go. So there's the address for the for the man that's done it for me. Uh, I'll put a link in the video to his eBay page. And if you like what you see, you can get it yourself. Right, I'll talk to you in a minute once I've got it set up. See you in a bit. Bye. Hi, it's John again. There we go. There's the new power supply. I've got my trusted test bed machine with the SD to IEC in, uh, behind it. I've got it plugged in. Plugged into the telly. So, moment of truth. So we'll switch it on. Let the red light come on. There you go. Still nothing on the telly because the 64 ain't switched on. So here we go. Well, look at that. So let's, uh, shall we see if, uh, Let's load something in. Right, the reason why it's comma nine is because I've set the I IEC to comma nine. OK, 
go to the old favourite. Where is it? I think it's that one. No, it's not that one. It's the other one. It's the first one. There it is. Keyboard. So left and right, A to jump. And the reason you can't hear any sound is because I think the SID chips in there is bust. Never mind. But then again, I've got the TV turned up. Let's have a look. Oh look, there we go, there's the sound. <laughs> Simple things, eh? Simple things. Now we'll let it uh, go through its thing. That should be it. No, one more. Game over. Right then, while it works with that 64, let's try some others, shall we? See you in a minute. Right then, 64. I've got my other SD to IEC reader. Let's see what type of 64 it's got. And it's the traditional one. So make sure it's switched off. Yes, so we'll switch the transformer on. And then we'll switch the computer on. And there we go. Right then. Same thing again, we'll go for Hunchback. This time that one's set to drive, drive 8, or is it set to drive 9? I can't remember. Right, so it's definitely drive eight. There we go. So hunchback, here we come. Press space, keyboard. Excellent. Well, that power supply seems to work with that compute that 64. Let's get one of the other ones out and we'll see what they'll see what they're like. See you in a minute. Right, next test computer. 64G. What a lovely machine. Right, here we go. So, switch it on. Let's just do that. Switch on the machine. And hey presto. Right, do the same thing again. So we'll do a punch back again so you can see the differences. There we go.
Run, 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 run. Run, 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 jump. Run, 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 jump. <laughs> right. So it works with the 64G. So I've got one more 64 to try and then uh, we'll see what the VIX like. So here we go. So I'll see you in a minute. Right then. Commodore 64 Audi. Plugged it in. Let's have a look at it. There we go. Lovely. Now, just going to power it up and see what we get. Switch on the power. Switch on the computer. Hey. Hey oh, my return key's not working. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. There we go. That means I need to, uh, I need to, uh, look at the keyboard. I'm gonna have to take the keyboard apart. Yeah, definitely going to have to look at the keyboard on that one. Going to have to, I'll take it apart and uh, give it a clean, I think. Because it looks like it's just a bit of dirt on the contact. Jump, 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 jump. Run, 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 jump. Run, 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 jump. Right then. Now, the test is, does it work with the Vic? Right, better get her out. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Right then. The trusty Vic. Vic 20. So I've plugged it in. The only thing I haven't done is plugged it into that into the SD twenty because I haven't got any VIC games so what I've done I put in the back the penultimate cartridge for the VIC 20 so here we go so we'll switch on there she is so what shall we play uh, Centipede Defender 7 Loading Defender <laughs> One for options. That's oh. Well, as you can see, the brand new modern day power supply powers all the different varieties of the 64 and the Vic. That is now going to be my main power supply for all my all my uh, playing. The other power supplies are now upstairs in the loft, safe and sound, where they'll stay there for quite a while. I hope this has been an interesting video, and I hope that some of you guys will invest in one of these, because I think this is the best way to go to protect your machinery, because modern day transformer technology, with all the electronics that go inside it to protect just in case you get spikes that is the way to go and I thank the man who sent it me because I think that it was definitely worth it Electroware PL I'll put a link on the, sc on the screen and in the description and it cost 35 quid plus 9 quid travel delivery a well worth piece of kit and I would advise anybody who's got any 
Commodore 64 or VIC-20 uh, hardware to invest in one of those. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye.